All right, so it's day 10 today of the 100 day challenge. And I wanted to make this video as a bit of, I guess like a bit of a diary entry. I wanted to answer the question of why. Why am I streaming for 100 days? Why am I doing this at all? Um, I watched a video actually from Ludwig um, before I started, I, I was doing a bit of research and things like that. And he said, you gotta know why. You gotta set a goal and you gotta know why. For me, I guess it came down to three things for me. The first one is I really love to create. Since in my whole adult life, my every job I've had since I was 18 years old has been something in the world of creating. Right now, uh, my wife and I run a cafe and a clothing store um, and I get to design apparel for that, which I love, as well as creating the advertising and the marketing and the content and I love it. And before that, I was doing freelancing um, photography, things like that. And before that, doing working for a local radio station, doing all of their media stuff, any kind of website stuff or videos or anything like that. And before that, I worked at a skate park and did all of their social media and their website. And I just love creating. And when I'm not creating something, I feel like an urge to create something. And so I think that I, I think that that's a thing that's just always kind of sticks with me. And funnily enough, this YouTube channel was created a really long time ago. Way back in the early, early kind of days of YouTube, I actually made a video. I don't know how old I would have been. It was a long time ago. And the way I made it was I had this ga it had this Tony Hawk. It was Tony Hawk Underground 2. Um, I had it as a PlayStation 2 game. And I don't know why I did this, but I put the disc in the computer at home. This is like a big old desktop computer. And for some reason, I was able to access the videos that you unlock in the game. And so I kind of like took all the videos off the game and put them on my computer and using Windows Movie Maker, um, that's right, Windows Movie Maker, I compiled this like skate edit together. It's one of my first ever videos that I made. Um, and I remember putting it on YouTube and I click, I click publish on it. And I remember refreshing it like 10 minutes later. And I can remember this so vividly. And it had like 50 views. And I was like, that's so crazy. And I refreshed it again. And it had like 60 views. And I kept refreshing it. I was like obsessed with it. I kept looking at it all the time. And then it had like a thousand views. And then it had like 5,000 views. And then it had like 20,000 views. And I don't know. I guess it was just early days of YouTube or something. And maybe there wasn't that much skateboarding on YouTube, which is crazy to even think about. Um, the video was called the greatest skateboard video ever or something like that. And um, anyway, it's got about 650,000 views or something on it now, um, which is nuts. But I feel like from that time, I was like addicted to that feeling and I loved that creating. And I've made things since then and I've always done it. Anyway, that's, that's the thing number one is I love creating. Thing number two is actually one of my hobbies and I have a lot of hobbies but they actually all stem back to this one thing. And that is that I really love to learn. That's the thing that I've learned in the very most recent years is that I really love learning new skills. I, I consider myself, the term jack of all trades is 100% applicable to me. Master of none, absolutely. I will dabble in something for a while until I get to a certain level of it and then happily jump over into something else. It has been an ongoing kind of theme in my life pretty much forever. I just love to learn new things. And I think that this streaming is the current kind of mini obsession for me. It's just like jump on and learn how this works because I, I've heard a lot about live streamers. It's not just learning how to, I don't know, use technology. It's also learning how to present yourself. It's learning how to use a little bit of lighting, use a bit of technology, uh, present well to a camera, articulate your thoughts well. Things that I would really like to be better at, all these things, I want them to be more natural to me for sure. And I think that streaming is gonna teach me so much more than just streaming, you know? And in itself, it's a skill and it's a crazy thing that we're able to do is I can just kind of click a button and go live to the whole world. But I think it's so cool. And I think that fundamentally, the things that I will learn through doing this will be great life skills. 
And so I'm so excited for that. And how long is it going to last? I don't know. But I've set myself a 100 day challenge. And this isn't the first 100 day challenge, by the way. I actually just finished not too long ago. Um, our previous one was um, I drew pictures for 100 days. I wanted to learn how to be a better drawer. I wanted to learn, I was actually inspired by PewDiePie's video uh, where he drew characters for 100 days. And so I did the same thing and I really loved it and grew a lot. And it was really, really cool. And before that, it's not so much, um, it's not so much like a challenge as it was just kind of a fun concept. But uh, my wife and I built our current cafe in 100 days and we blogged it every single day. We did this 100daycafe.com blog and you can read about every single, um, every single part of that journey. Every single day we wrote something down and we put that out to the world. And we also got engaged and got married in 100 days from engagement to married. We did that in 100 days. So it's kind of like a nice theme and I feel like it's a really cool amount of time where you have to commit to something more than just a week, more than just two weeks, more than just whenever you feel like it. I'm going to stream 100 days and that is quite a commitment because even if I do it every second day, it's going to take me over six months to do that. That's a big commitment. You can't do something for that long and not grow. You can't do something for that long and not get better at it. Same with the drawing. That did take me nearly six months and I tried to do it nearly every single day. Um, but yeah, that's that's why the 100 days thing has come up. And if it's something that you are thinking about learning, I really encourage you to try and do it for 100 days. It's a really good way to grow. It's a really good way to grow your skills and learn something for sure. There's no way you can't. That's, I guess that's the point, is that if you just grind and do something for 100 days, you will get better at it. And again, I'm really excited to see where this channel ends up 90 days from now or 90 streams from now because that will represent at least probably another 100 videos, probably 500 shorts and all these extra things. And that's just really, I'm really interested to look back at this and see. I will tell you right now, just from streaming and and uploading for the last kind of week or two there's been the, at the very first at the very start i lost a few subscribers and then since then i've gained a few subscribers like around 10 and that's fine because my goal isn't to necessarily to grow i'd like to see that but my goal is just to do 100 streams and see what happens so i guess that's nice is not to be like my goal is to get like 10,000 subscribers my goal is just to do something a hundred times and then see where we're at from there. And if I'm loving it, then I would hope that growth would come with it, but it's not necessarily my goal. Anyway, that's number two. I love to create. I love to learn. And the third one is I actually really love to entertain. And I feel like that's something that I haven't been able to do that much recently because it's such a strange thing. But um, a mate and myself used to run a podcast and that's just purely doing something for no reason except that it entertains and it's fun and I guess this is kind of like a newer version of that for me um, entertaining people I don't know it feels good I really like it and I guess this is an opportunity for me to um, to do that and so that's pretty much it you know that's my three things I really want to keep creating things I always it's like an it's like an inner urge for me to create things and so this comes so naturally in that learning is something I love and I will learn through doing this 100 days like I have to like there's literally no choice it just will happen and then I get to entertain you guys and on that note as well what do I want this channel to be is I want this channel to be the things that I am loving at the time and the reason the reason I want you to watch it is because I want you to enjoy being entertained by me. So I'm kind of hoping that the things that I'm into that you also end up being into. Hi, um, I'm going to jump in here. I'm just editing this video. I don't think I explained myself very well with this part. The reason I want this channel to be reflecting what I love is because that way it's always fun and it never becomes a job. I, I put it as my little subheading and um, like kind of it's on my page banner thing I'm here for a good time because that's what I want this to be I want this to be we're just here for a good time I want my little input into this crazy platform to be a positive experience for me 
which will reflect onto you guys. If I'm having a good time, then hopefully you're having a good time. And if I'm gonna take the time and effort to put something out into the world, I want it to be positive, I want it to be fun, I want it to be awesome. I don't wanna get caught up in all the drama and I don't wanna get um, stuck in doing something that I don't actually wanna do. So that, that explains it a lot better. So back to you, Jack, you can wrap it up here. Badly, I've watched that bit too. So hopefully that's helped you guys to understand. I am doing this mainly so I can look back on it and I will be looking back on this as time goes on. I might even do an update at day 50 or day 75 or day 100 or all three. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed that. Hopefully um, you found this interesting if you've watched it this far. If you wanna see this journey continue, feel free to subscribe and yeah, keep watching the videos. Let's see what happens. I really, I really hope that this is something that I can look back on in the future and think, wow, that's so crazy. Like you, you didn't even know what was about to happen, you know, or like, and that's, that is the case. I've got no clue, but I'm really excited to see. And I think documenting these times when it feels like nothing's happening, it feels like you're doing it all for nothing. I think that that's really important. That's really important. Anyway, that's it. Is that how I want to outro the video? I don't know. Enjoy. And if there's anything that you want to see from me or anything that you want to see in particular, let me know in the comments. Put it down. I'm here for you guys. And that's it. I'll talk to you again soon.